What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to make 2D banners like this. And uh, they kind of look lava-y, uh, but it's using a program called Chaotica and then Photoshop CS6. So um, let's get right into the, into the tutorial. Uh, if you don't have Chaotica, uh, the download for it will be in the description. Um, but I also have a tutorial on it already, so if you're unfamiliar with it, I'll link that below as well, and you can check that out. Uh, first thing uh, you see when you open Chaotica, you get a bunch of these random generated worlds. And first off, you want to select one that's kind of uh, sort of like this one, where it's, it's hard to describe, but it looks real smooth. Like these ones have a bunch of lines and stuff, and are kind of choppy. This one's kind of smooth, so uh, you want to select one like that and then just click the X and then you just kinda wanna change the color correction so I'm gonna change with these curves um, you can just follow along with what I do uh, I explain this all in the chaotic tutorial I have if you just wanna follow along with that but I'm just gonna roll through this real quick turn down the brightness turn down the gamma Something like that, okay. That's looking pretty good. All right, so once you got one of these, you wanna go to, uh, f actually you wanna check ultra quality. And then uh, if, you, if you buy this, you can go with as big as you want, like width and height. But if you have the free version, you're limited. So I'm gonna just go with 832 as a width and the height uh, is at 768 um, that should be good um, and I'm gonna go to file save image and then I'm gonna go to my desktop you can save this anywhere and I'm just gonna call this one and save it and then I want to go to transformers and I want to find another world like that <clears throat> and you kinda want to keep it the same colors uh, so here's one that I think looks pretty similar. That should work. And uh, the render here won't look as good as if you save it. You would have to let this bar keep going and render out to get the full quality. But uh, I kind of already know this is going to look pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. Um, save that as two. And you want at least three. So let's find one more. Um, and if you don't like your selection, just go to New Random Worlds. Oh, actually, no, that screwed up the color. Transformers. Let's just go back. Alright. This one looks pretty cool. Actually, I like this one. Alright, yeah, that'll work. And this will be our third one, so save that as three. Save. And I'll just minimize that for now. And let's go to Photoshop. If it wants to work. Uh, um, there we go and you want to open up your YouTube template obviously and this is pretty pretty easy once you get to this point so I'm gonna select all these drag them on hit enter to get them all and I'm just gonna select them all right click rasterize and then you just want to spread them out so I'm just gonna put one over here line up the edges and this is kinda of what we're working with you kinda of want to get an idea of what your plan is uh, I think I'm gonna put this over there get my eraser tool just erase that so it blends in get the third one Put that over, erase that bit, holding shift to go straight down perfect. And let's select all this, right click and merge layers, and drag this over. Let's get a good position like that. And now let's do control J to duplicate, and then control T to transform, right click, flip horizontal, right click, flip vertical. That should be pretty good. And let's just line that up like that. Uh, you can line this up however you want. And now I'm just going to erase some bits. So I'm going to erase this part. And I'm just going to kind of... 
erase this to get some other colors in there. That works. Now let's select these, right click, merge layers. There we go, and this will be the backing. All right, and now let's add a little color correction. So I'm gonna go to curves. Drag this down a bit, drag this up. And let's get uh, a gradient map, overlay. Let's go about 7% black to white. Um, let's go to hue and saturation. Let's put the saturation a bit up so we get like nice and bright colors. Um, and let's go to the bottom and let's go to a gradient map and let's do hue this time so we'll get like uh, in, the same color throughout this. Um, let's pick a color. That's a pretty cool color. I'll go with that. And then you want to go to your backing layer. And now you want to go to filter, oil paint. And this is where you get the sweet effects. So you want to turn the shine all the way down. And then from there, you can really play with it how you want. I don't think this is, this picture is updating. I don't know if I have preview on or not, but let's just mess with this. Put the stylization pretty far up. Oh, clean. Yeah, I'm going to keep the cleanness up. All right, there we go. That's pretty cool. I'm going to click OK. You can just pause it there if you want to see my settings. I kind of mix it around every time. It's never the same. Uh, and there we cool. There we go. We got a cool little backing, um, which it looks really abstract and really awesome. I really like this effect. Um, so I just did Control Zero to get this full picture. Um, and actually, I want to take take this off. That's actually pretty cool. Those colors themselves. Um, I'm gonna go actually to the hue and saturation, bring up the saturation a little more, and I'm also gonna go get a vibrance. Vibrance. Add the vibrance up a little bit there we go that's pretty cool um, let's go above the backing let's make a new layer get your paintbrush um, about 200 ish yep soft brush get your white and actually let's go up uh, so clicking the brackets you can increase your brush size so I'll go with 600 and just kind of stagger your stagger your uh, paintbrushes like this, your clicks, whatever, uh, and then go to overlay, and it'll give this kind of like brighter effect in some spots, gives it some depth and stuff, like it's darker here, brighter there, the brighter spots look a little closer, it looks really cool. Um, and then finally we can go and start adding text. Uh, you can get as creative as you want, what I did for mine is I went to this shapes thing, I got a rounded rectangle, uh, got pulled up my guides. Let's go just kind of make this, right click, rasterize, control T, let's try to center this, that's good, control H to hide the rulers, uh, double click to get on this, um, turn down the fill opacity, turn on inner shadow, put the distance to zero, and this, oh, excuse me, the size up. To whatever you feel is necessary. So I'm at like 46, and I'm going to turn the opacity down to 40, and I'm going to do an outer glow uh, overlay and white, and I'm going to make the size about three. There we go, and I'm going to bump this up a little bit higher. Get out of here. Um, and then for the text effect, I just did a simple color. I did gray in a color and just put a nice shine across it. But uh, I made that banner a long time ago. I don't have any updated versions of the style, but um, I haven't really played with the layer styles. But this is the part where you get as creative as you want. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and show you this text, but if you got what you want, you can click off now. Um, so let's center this text. There we go. I'm just going to do that. Quasi. 
this font that's up right now, if you're wondering what it is, it is Skyline and it's Evan Eckert's font. Not sure if I'm going to use this. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, I'll actually use it just because it looks nice all the time. Uh, I'm just going to highlight it and go to my uh, character tab and going to go to the vertical spacing 200. That's too much. What about 150? 150 works. There we go. Um, I'm just going to select part of the text now, like that. I'm going to go kind of red, not fully saturated. That's still too saturated. Let's go more like there. And let's get a pink. If this wants to load, come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, actually, one more reddish pink. There we go, that works. Okay. And I actually want to make the white part a little bit more of a gray. And let's double click on that. Let's get a drop shadow. I'm just going to leave it at the normal settings, just bring the opacity down a little bit. Do an inner glow, overlay, white, turn down the opacity, and I'm just going to right click, rasterize the layer, and then I'm going to create a new layer, create a clip mask, get a square, highlight the top. And I'm going to make sure the white is the background color, foreground color, I believe. And then do control backspace to fill that in. And do an overlay. And bring it down. Something like that. So there's the nice shine. That doesn't look the greatest. Could have played around with that a little more. And then you add all your other good stuff. But yeah, that's basically the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped you. Hope you get some cool ideas from this. Um, you can actually use the background as just a stock too, so if I were to take this stuff away, uh, you can just like save this, get rid, rid of the black bars obviously. You can save this and use this as like a stock, um, put the opacity down, all this kind of stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like if this helped, and follow me on Twitter and all that good stuff, and if you stayed this long, thank you. Um, I'm actually really surprised, but for the next three months I'm going to be having soccer, give or take a few weeks I guess uh, depending if we make playoffs but so I probably won't be uploading that much but I'm pretty sure maybe like 10 of you are watching this far along so maybe like 10 of you got this if you got this you should tweet at me and I'll like follow you because that's really dope you stayed this long but uh, thank you guys for watching and see you later peace